Okay, moving on. Hard man. Most people are scared of heights, but I can handle it. After all, I'm a man of steel. Literally. 20th place. Dr. Novakeen. Escape sequence. Score 35.0. 30, 33, 40, 40, 32. One energy element and another five noble nickels. Warning. Self-destruct sequence activated. Teleportation requires one energy element. Execute release weapon energy limiter. Execute release speed limiter. Run. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if it's, if it's immediately obvious here, but, um, yeah. Mega Man can, is moving a lot uh, faster than he, than he usually does. So, uh, yeah, I can jump uh, a greater distance. And, uh, yeah, we've got a nice little, uh, yeah, escape sequence level. Which, I think for the most part, does a really nice job. I think they're a... Ding it! <laughs> well, I got the Noble Nickel, so we won't go, we won't, we won't recklessly uh, have to fall off uh, that platform into the spikes uh, next time. So we'll just take the lower route this time, but um, why did I even bother jumping to deal with those enemies? They just, they should just, just win. There was no need to hang around for those. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think for the most part, it does a really nice job. There are times where it does feel a bit slower than others. Which is probably for the levels, uh, slightly to the levels detriment at times, but um, yeah, for the most part, I like the hecticness of this. If the somewhat uneasiness of uh, pulling off these jumps. Of course, you have got the uh, faster, faster movement going on here, so uh, yeah, that's obviously why you can clear double spikes. And of course, faster movement does sometimes uh, work to your disadvantage, so uh, be careful here. If I'd sort of jumped maybe normally. <laughs> <laughs> um, normally to that ladder I might have uh, gone further over to the right than I would have liked and um, yeah ran into the spikes but who cares about that when uh, you can uh, just uh, fall into a pit for no, no good reason <laughs> oh boy I was hoping this would have gone a bit better than this must admit I might not actually go that upper route again this time either as well. I don't know. I'll see what the lower the lower route again maybe looks like. If it's sort of less spike happy. I think it looks that way. So yeah, I think I'm going to take the lower route. Just from... Uh... So, yeah, don't fancy messing up on that and uh, having to redo a whole bunch of the stage again. I'm not sure I'm particularly a fan of Sniper Joes in a chase, a potential chase uh, section. Or, yeah, chase level, but, um, oh well. I swear again, that thing just spawned up. Um, oh my god, I can't... I'm having trouble making this, making this leap. I'm... I can't make that. Uh... That's really off-putting. I knew you were going to do that. I knew, I knew that that enemy was going to just be in the worst friggin' possible place for that. Yeah, I'm going to rush call. I'm going to rush call over there. I could not seem to make that jump. That was uh, really, really awkward. Every time I was like falling off the ladder, it was just um, yeah, he wasn't getting enough distance. Anyway, yeah, got through it eventually with some creative use of uh, rush call. Okay, it clearly said dual satellite there, so. I guess we'll do that. Yep, seems like a good idea. <laughs> uh, not for that though. <laughs> wow, lovely. Of course, I'm. Of course, I'm going. I'm sliding further, aren't I? Because I've got the. Uh, I've got the sort of more fast-paced uh, gimmicks going on here. So yeah, should have. Uh, should have thought about that a bit more. Um, I feel like I probably want Rush Jet in order to get back out of here once I've got the, uh... And That's not good. That was alright, though. I'll take that. I'll gladly take that, given I thought I very, could very well get to cornered there or... or whatnot. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. Back to dual satellite. Yeah, there's something very fun 
about about this, this this type of section where you just use dual satellite to literally just cream through the level. I mean, it would be very difficult without it. Oh, and uh, blimey, those things, uh, yeah, the, the the prop tops there are an enemy that would uh, would have obviously got more than one uh, HP. So uh, yeah, knocked me back there. Didn't quite appreciate that. But there are enough platforms around that I, to make that not too bad, I think. <laughs> Anyway, here's where we start to slow down, which I uh, which I mentioned before, and um, it's not it's not that bad to be honest, but um, it, it sort of st just stifles the kind of the flow, ultimately of a of a fast paced screen, where we're uh, we're presumably outrunning something, uh, and we've got yeah we've got to uh, slow down now for this uh, sort of rush jet section. But um, as I say, it's not too bad. I still find it fun. Um, do be kind of uh, reasonably quick here with your shooting. Don't sort of, don't sort of stop. Continue kind of shooting manically. You're going to want to take out as many of these blocks as possible because uh, yeah, they will kind of uh, you know put a barricade up. So uh, yeah, make sure you're taking the blocks out uh, as quickly as possible. Okay, as it says there, we'll use the the pogo stick and we'll, <laughs> and we'll miss time the hitbox to take. Uh, we'll miss time the, uh, the the way that should work. Hopefully, yeah, we've reached another checkpoint. Fine. I imagine the checkpoints in this level are fairly generous. Well, I've found out, I guess, to, for a couple of them. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to arc over that so we don't sort of clip the bloody left hand edge of that spike. Good. And uh, yeah, not only can we use the <laughs> the Saga Kane on uh, spikes and such like that, but of course we can use them on uh, various enemies. And I swear that you're sort of supposed to do that. Uh, in order to get that noble nickel, but it is an inc it's incredibly hard to pull off. Um, so I might not actually be able to do this anymore without dying, which is which would be sad. Unless I can scroll a whole bunch of missiles on screen and uh, use the projectiles from that. I figure that's probably what you're going for here. Except that one didn't explode into four sh into four pieces. Why not? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm dying a whole lot here. <laughs> this has not been a good show on this level at all. But oh well, bound to happen at uh, some point in time. And yeah, obviously well, I'm going for like Noble Nickels as well, but I don't specifically have to get... Again, you fall just short of that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna scroll a few more missiles on. We're gonna get some extra height, and then we'll do it. Right, fine. That's what I should have done before. I should have just headed off more to the right. Got got more missiles on screen. Got some extra height, and I would have been fine. I was trying to trying to be too cute about that. Probably. <laughs> I can't say I'm a fan of these missile all these missiles here. This is uh, becoming way too hectic a section. I'm losing way too much friggin' health. Maybe I'll just try and make that too complicated for its own good, I don't know. Okay, super O time, I guess. Except it's not very good for dealing with enemies, so, uh, yeah. Although, actually, it seems to be... Uh, I was not expecting it to do as much damage to enemies uh, as that, so, um, okay, maybe it's been buffed, perhaps? Catch up to me, okay. Okay, so we're going to have to use Super Arrow to get off of it and then get back on it at some point in time and fail miserably. I have no chance whatsoever of catching up to that now. So I probably uh, screw myself. Can I go back down and scroll that back on screen? I have no idea where a safe point, point might be. We can go back and scroll it back on screen. Okay, that's nice. And again, I do, I suppose, I also will mention now, I really like the fact that the, oh, for God's sake, um, the, uh, um, oh, do I, I don't need it. What? I, I was thinking I had to, like, use that again, but apparently I don't. Okay. Anyway, I like the, uh, the fact that we've got, uh, infinite, uh, weapon usage here. That's, uh. That's, uh, oh no, <laughs> that's kind of nice. Uh, it would be very difficult uh, if you didn't. Um, so obviously, you know, we're using it all over the place. But um, yeah, having uh, not having infinite energy here would be uh, a hell of a thing. But um, yeah, as it is, we can use as many many items as, as as we like. So that's nice. 
Okay, it's telling us to use wheel, uh, wheel cutter. I don't like the look of that enemy up there, so I'd like to maybe get that to spawn. Or is that just actually not an enemy? I can't tell. Okay, I have a feeling there's probably something up here. Yes, good. <laughs> and that was awful. <laughs> oh God, I forgot temporarily that I'd have to that I'd have the, the uh, extra speed. Good grief. But anyway, I pulled off the wheel. I pulled off the wheel cutter section up the uh, up the wall. That was that was that was that was nice and satisfying to pull off. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to still use wheel cutter for the rest of the area. Though. Oh, that one do I have to catch up to? What? Oh, I just did that terribly, All right. <laughs> yeah, my bad, that was awful. <laughs> uh... Okay. Arrgh! Yeah, okay, this is where the level's gonna start to pull off those um, irritating moments now. This must be the level I've died on the most often, I think, by judging now. Actually, maybe not. Maybe that's not true. I figure maybe the air, the air, one of the levels that had the, the, the split, the split path with the tank and the airship. I feel like I probably died more on the bloody um, airship than on the longest level so far. So far, but um, oh well. I feel like I'm dying an awful lot. I mean, it's not an easy stage to get through. Let me put, let's, let's put it that way. So, dying is to be expected, but. Yeah. I feel like I've got maybe four Noble Nickels, but not five, I don't know. Which is going to be disappointing if I've missed one. Um, yeah, I like this section. I think you pretty much just have to hold left and you win. Um, which is... could be disappointing to some in the sense that you're not really actually reacting to anything, doing anything. It's literally just a, almost like a, a cutscene now where, you know, the, the game plays itself for you. But... It's, it's fun enough just to watch this insanity <laughs> and see everything kind of work out in time nicely. But um, yeah, I think, I think well, ultimately, ultimately I didn't do anything there. I pressed left and I won. <laughs> and I think here you can pretty much just go climb the ladder as fast as you like. Yeah, and again, you'll avoid everything. I think, at least anyway. Who knows, I might end up getting clipped by something, but... Yeah, okay, cool. Looks like if you just hold up at the right of the start, you'll clear everything. Nice. We have actually got one more Noble Nickel left, and I remember where it is now. I need to make sure I jump when it appears. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow, that was awful. I need to shoot the enemies or jump over them. Yay, another death. Wonderful. <laughs> Okay, so just keep shooting like a maniac. The Noble Nickel is obviously a lot further in than I remembered it being. The exclamation marks there are also potentially, uh, um, you know, telling you something's coming up, so that's nice. Yeah, do not want to miss that. And we're out. Good. I think that's everything. <laughs> as much as fun as that was, the costume for completing that level, okay, it's interesting. I'm not sure what that was for. <laughs> Whether it was just literally completing the level, I don't know, but, um, oh, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, got all five noble nickels, good. And glad, somewhat glad that level's it's kind of over because I was dying a lot and it was starting to get a little bit frustrating, but um, not too much. The checkpoint placement is very generous, but um, you're obviously making use of... I like the use of the kind of different things, you know, different abilities, Super, uh, super Arrow, Rush Jet, Wheel Cutter, to kind of get around the stage, uh, the Sega Kame, uh, Pogo Stick thing as well. Um, yeah, it's a, I think it's a really well done stage. Um, it's... No, we don't want that. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's, it's fun for the most part. It, it doesn't feel too brutal. Um, and fra in fact, again, just because of the generous checkpoint placement, sort of dying, having to redo do an error over again, doesn't fit, ever feel too frustrating. So, um, yeah, overall, I really liked it. I do, I do think maybe the rush jet section is probably its weakest bit where it slows down, because, again, the, the, the point surely must be go fast. Dash through a breakneck speed and you know and uh, and and you know to to, to to get out of this place, but the rush jet section does slow it down to a certain degree. But it does, it's not a badly designed area by any stretch of the imagination. It just ultimately slows down what is meant to be presumably a very fast place, fast paced level. But um, yeah, despite all the uh, death there, and I feel like that was one of the clumsiest stages so far uh, in this let's play. I had a good time with it. I enjoyed it. 
Oof, there are parts of this level that I legit, I legit love. The dual satellite section, the final escape sequence with the hyper-fast quick lasers, but there are two sections in particular which really kill the level for me. The rush jet section is the main issue for me, it's like a bajillion times slower than the rest of the level, and it's also incredibly obnoxious with its enemy and block placement. The rush jet might have been the only section in there I didn't die on. <laughs> Apart from maybe the dual satellite bit. And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, it's not only does it brutally murder the pacing, it also kill you a ton of times, it keeps sending you back and you just keep, you know, get super annoyed. Other section is super arrow wire section. It's extremely frustrating due to the huge amount of spikes everywhere that will just keep constantly killing you, you and resetting and sending you back. Really, this is a death is the issue here, because the rest of the level, especially the last stretch, which I really love, is incredibly fast paced and encourages you to use special weapons, so you're basically are blasting through the fortress and ploughing through everything and trying to get through as fast as you can and having a heck of a ton of, a heck of, a ton of a fun time. And then in the middle, you get these dumb utility sections with instant death everywhere that absolutely kill the pacing. It's just frustrating. And sad to see an otherwise really good level ruined by just one part of it. Ugh. Now it was pretty crazy, or at least about half of it was. This was a very inconsistent level in terms of design. Some parts were really fast and fun, those dual satellite slide sections were the most satisfying thing ever, but the prop tops could hit you through the shield and knock you into a pit. Uh, but some of those were too slow paced and annoying. Rush jet section was very hard unless you know to hold the left key to slow yourself down. Sega the Sega Carney, um the Carney section was pretty weird because you could actually jump on the explosions, which seemed like an oversight. The ending part where you had to hold direct certain directions was very well done. Good job there. Overall, this level was a super neat idea, but the design kind of fell flat. Man, what a neat idea. I love the increased movement speed and intense atmosphere in this level. It really gets me to move fast and act quickly in sections where the level allowed me to do so. I wish that this was at least wish that was every section of this level, but it's not, which is a shame. I found the jet and arrow sections a bit kind of disappointing from the rest of the level being very slow paced, unlike any of the other sections, which the player can breeze through and tank whatever they feel like whatever they feel like. And I love the other sections. The Sekakane section is loads of fun, the conveyor walk across spikes is risky but feels great to pull off. The dual satellite section has entire screen dedicated to catharsis between action, and the ending segment is an amazing conclusion. It's just the the segments are kind of halting my enjoyment of the level due to their slow speed. Also kind of unfortunate how the frame rate suffers from everything that happens in this level, and how the red acid drops are barely visible against the red background. Overall, really fun for the most part. Super cool idea. It's a really chaotic level, but in a good way. I really like blazing through it in, in an insane speed with unlimited weapon usage, and I really like the weapon-specific parts of the level, with the exception of the Rush Jet and the Sigakai um, sections. I also didn't really like the part near the end of all the Quickman lasers where you just run without doing anything, but aside from that, it's a very fun, interesting level with interesting ideas behind it. Do I hate this level? Do I love this level? I have no idea. This level I can only compare to Marmite. You either love it or hate it. I cannot think of any better comparison. The fact that every weapon has infinite ammo set up what sets up what this stage is going to do from the start, and then uses the fact you have infinite ammo to do some really insane stuff. This level is really creative. There's a double move speed concept, it's a clever enough gimmick, but pretty weird to actually play. Some of the execution spots is baffling though. The enemy set is just whatever you felt like slapping in it seems. Sometimes you're left wondering what the hell that enemy dude's doing in the spot it's in. Some are pretty annoyingly placed though, and this applies to pretty much every Hammer Joe, Crystal Joe, and that single sort to Tanuki enemy. Your biggest issue is far, far too much overcrowding, particularly the areas where you are forced to use utilities. Enemies in those segments are usually placed in such a way that it's too easy to mess up a shot or too use or too usually enough to throw you off your rhythm and cause you to go into a spit pit or spike. The main offender was the rush jet segment, so I'm sorry, even when you're used to it, it's frustrating. If only because there are enemies that have become un unavoidable, either choose enemies or destructible blocks, but not both. Your wheel cutter based noble nickel was irritating. This would have been fine had the walls not been used for ascent, not also been spikes. Making a player lightly tap left or right to dodge incoming spikes is just awkward. This was a very clever level, let's leave it at that, but there are severe frustration spikes every so often at little the stage. If these have been evened out, this would probably be one of the top tier levels in my eyes. Anything not mentioned should be considered a positive. There is one highlight really worth mentioning, good force beam usage. I guess also the lack of a boss on there, I'm kind of cool with. Uh, usually it sort of says perhaps a little bit disappointing not to have a boss at the end, but for such a stage, again, I feel like it's actually, I don't know, I'm more accepting of the fact that that stage doesn't have a boss at the end, so um, yeah. Maybe that's uh, hypocritical, but um, yeah, it feels like, for whatever reason, that level doesn't need a boss quite as much as other levels do. But anyway, just my two cents. That's actually a level, isn't it? Okay. Comet Woman. Hehe, <laughs> better be careful, Mega Man. We wouldn't want you slipping and falling off now, would we? No, we wouldn't. 19th place. The Skipper, the Skipper 1995. Bond Man. Score 35.8. 43, 34, 44, 24, 34. I feel like I said four way too much there. <laughs> One energy element and no noble nickels. Okay, so all we've got to do is get through the stage. Cool. I had to check. <laughs> okay, crazy raises. Go down pretty straightforwardly. Nice to see. Okay, I'm going to take more of a higher route now. <laughs> And 
then here I think we get our main kind of uh, gimmick to the stage, which is uh, sort of uh, for Bond Man title, is the sort of uh, sticky kind of or gluey uh, type um, obstacles we have to deal with. So um, yeah, I be you can actually, I think I'm probably going to do so anyway, yeah, you can destroy these uh, glue, glue Joes or whatever the, <laughs> glue, glue Joes or whatever or whatever their name, uh, names are, but um, I, I, I feel like it's probably not worth bothering. But uh, yeah, you can actually destroy them. I don't know whether it's Triple Blade or some something else, but um, yeah, don't feel like... In fact, I might just try and experiment actually find that out from a safe distance or something. No, 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 no. Is it Triple Blade? No, okay. Maybe Slash Claw or Sega Kane? Oh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can just you can uh, kill these things, though. So. Certainly not Hornet Chaser. Yeah, okay, fine. Slash Claw. <laughs> Show that off at least, so uh, yeah, you can destroy those if you so wish. They don't tend to be too irritating, though, so I just tend not to bother. Uh, but uh, yeah, the glue... Um, not only does it obviously hurt you if it sort of falls on you, uh, is a kind of a way of ultimately slowing down the player uh, through the stage, which uh, is fine, if not uh, irritating at times. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's fine, I guess. I'm probably going to whip out Slash Claw here, actually, because um, there are a few too many enemies here that are going to be kind of annoying to deal with otherwise. require some good time. Of course, wow, um, I got hit by that, okay. The, um, yeah, it, once the glue is on the ground and you sort of step on it, it's, uh, yeah, it sort of makes Mega Man stick to it. It is not completely stuck, so you're not like you, you're not like you won't move at all, but, um, terrible. Um, but, uh, yeah, you do sort of, uh, get, well, wow, that took a lot more hits to take down for some reason. Why have they got more health now? It's interesting and unusual. Um, yeah, but you do you do get you do sort of like walk slowly in them, so um, in in the glue. So um, just be wary of that if you do if you do end up getting if you end up sort of landing on it. Uh, that's annoying. Very annoying. I could have used Hornet Chaser there actually. Why did I not think of that before the thing started flashing? I guess I could go for the E-Tank, actually, in theory, having and use one of my own, but, um, oh well, I've got most of my health back now, so I probably won't bother. Oh, there's a thing there, which I did not see. Oh, I feel like I'm, uh, in this game as well, like I'm grabbing ladders. Um, again, sort of, you know, quite a lot, which is not too bad, but it does sort of... Is, is disorientating and could well throw me off my game. I did not like that at all. Um, can I slide off of there and be safe? Yes. Okay. Although it would have been better if I would not timed it so I got hit by the dropping glue, but oh well. Can you come down here? If you can, that would be lovely. <laughs> yeah, let's just cheese that fight a bit more. Yeah, they have to sort of walk through there slowly, just as a demonstration. <laughs> okay, and now uh, we have a boss. It presumably is Bond Man. Who works very much like Crash Man. Uh, but you do have to uh, worry about the, uh, like I said, the glue in the floor, which sort of slowing you down. So I like to sort of uh, slide quite a bit in this fight. But um, yeah, he's... Unless he starts changing up his pattern in a minute, uh, for anything that I've forgotten, he's pretty straightforward. Just you know, slide to one side of one corner, jump, shoot, slide to the other corner, uh, lather, rinse, repeat. Really, it's a pretty straightforward boss. Yeah, not really much to say about it. He's a kind of a a slightly harder version of Crash Man, but um, yeah, nothing to worry about. It's interesting there, I noticed that my char the charge shots there sometimes were like hitting him one, getting him one, taking down one HP, and other times more. It was almost like it was like the charge shot was just clipping him, so it was doing less damage. That was really weird. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, uh, reasonably, reasonably uh, nice level. Um, I feel like there's probably 
a few extra things that could have been done above and beyond with the gimmick. Um, could have been a bit more... Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know what those are, frankly. But, because uh, again, my, my lack of imagination is just extraordinary. I, I can't... I can't. I, to be honest, I can't. I can't think of like you know too many things. Maybe the judges probably probably would do, but um, I'm sure there's probably additional things that you maybe could have done or built around the the glue mechanic there, extra platforming challenges or such like that that, that could have been backed into the stage. But um, yeah, no, overall fairly de fairly decent level, and um, yeah, the boss at the end is is pretty straightforward too. So um, I have no real issues with it. Well, it's not the most flashy stage, it's an incredibly well-designed one. There is a very clear difficulty curve and the setups are well thought out, and the glue became surprisingly threatening late in the stage. This is pretty neat because early in the stage I thought it wouldn't be an issue because I could just slide through it, but your use of the glue on, on one tail platforms was a clever way of, pre of preventing just sliding through the glue and ignoring the level's gimmick. Everything is very nicely designed and it feels like a legitimate Mega Man stage. I really like the glue devil enemies as well, they're a neat twist on the devil's Mega Man 9. I'd say the one part of the level I didn't really like was that much was the fight with Bomb Man himself. After getting hit once or twice by the actual glue shots, I realised he was just basically just a glorified Crash Man. If you wanted a simple boss fight, you accomplished it, but I feel like with the whole concept of glue, the boss could have been more interesting than Crash Man, but he shoots freezing, freezing shots. The level itself, though, is very well done, and it's a fun level overall. Alright level, although it got really stressful toward the end with all the spikes. The white enemies were well placed, but I would have liked them more if they were fully destroyable with the buster. Bomb Man himself was my main issue with the level. His attacks are easy enough to dodge, but if you get hit by them, well, it's actually possible for him to combo you to death really quickly, because he does a lot of damage and freezes you at the same time. As far as I can tell, there's no way to get out of being frozen until it wears off or Bomb Man hits you. The level itself is nice, but the boss kind of ruined it for me. Sorry. Well, I guess probably didn't get to experience that, so I didn't actually get hit to the boss, and that's not just me bragging <laughs> on that. But, um, yeah, obviously, if that if, if that does happen, he just sort of continually chains you and drains your health, then I guess that could be kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, to me, he's fairly easy to do, you know, without taking damage. But, um, yeah, if he does sort of chain hits on you, I could see how that could be irritating. This stage manages to stay interesting and fun with just very few elements introduced throughout the level. It does a very good job of mixing up its elements to ramp up the difficulty up until the boss encounter, who also uses the level's main gimmick. Platforming this level is exciting, and I like the occasional timing-based puzzle about when to get shoot the petite devils. The level got slightly repetitive when doing one tile jumps, I wish I had just a few more optional challenges for extra rewards, but overall it's a great stage that does a good job of utilising all of its mechanics consistently. I don't think there's anything interesting here whatsoever. As a level, it's okay, I guess. It's nothing too bad, but it's not interesting either. The whole level appears to be just one gimmick, and it's not a very interesting one. Also, the graphics are boring. I don't know. There's just nothing going on here for me to like this level. So you decided to bring an, an, un, an old, unused robot master out of retirement. Was this worth the effort? You know what? I'd say yes. You aped the style of Mega Man 1 stages without resorting to the worst aspects of that game, and to put some honest-to-goodness creativity into repurposed dev kit assets. The level is a little on the generic side visually, and gimmicks are limited, but you make good use of what you got, and there's some pretty nifty segments every so often, you have to keep the player interested with your limited set. You kept the focus where it mattered, and whilst the place didn't really look like a glue factory, it felt like one. There's one really big highlight to your stage, I have to mention I love the glue devils. They're a very awesome concept, and the best of the new assets in the stage, and usually positioned exactly in the right spots to get in the player's way, without being dickish. There was also a room with three glue dripped, dripped positioned over tiny platforms, but it's a great way to use this gimmick, even if this method of getting through this, the room unscathed requires a little outside-the-box thinking. But it's little pieces like that which help stages. The Robot Master was basically a repurposed dev kit boss, but I appreciate the effort here, even if he is particularly easy. I think maybe the character should have been given an additional attack of some description. I'm glad he's all around all the same, because levels lacking their signature Robot Master are a disappointment. Some good new ideas here elevated out of the range of the truly average stages. Yeah, I'd certainly agree with that. And here we've got the boss. Okay, well, let's try and do something before we do the boss. Um, and uh, this might be taking me, might take me a bit of time to find, because I can't remember exactly where the hell it is. Is it this high up? No, it's not. Okay, so we have looped around. So you'll have to maybe bear with me for a moment, because I know there is something extra here. I just can't remember where it is. And clearly, it's not that high up either. So, okay, it's not on this level. Let's go down one more level. I don't think it's going to be on this one because I'm pretty much circling completely the way round here. It can't be on that one, surely not. No, okay, let's try this one. Or maybe... Yeah, let's try this one. So there's nothing else on this screen. Yeah, here we go. Extra hidden level... Oh, off on that giant ladder. So uh, yeah, I knew I knew I was looking for something. Couldn't exactly remember where it was, but um, yeah, let's do this first off before we take on the boss. But yeah, no energy element here or anything, so uh, it's all a bit cryptic. Why are you here? Aren't you supposed to save the world? Don't think I'm unaware. Don't think I never leave this room. 
Don't think I don't know what's going on out there. The Vault Men. The festival being under attack. Okay, he's starting to move toward me. Some strange things have happened recently. A glass of milk attacked. A robot broke through the internet. A lot of energy elements were collected to control the world. Don't you think all of this is a little bit suspicious? You know what else is interesting? I know you collected a lot of energy elements recently. Coincidence? I don't think so. You may have attacked Doorman, the Scorchmen, Sheepman, and the Ghost of Christmas Future. But you probably would have destroyed them even if they didn't attack. Maybe you decided to join Dr. Wily and didn't need to be reprogrammed. Suspicious? Suspicious? Let me ask you something. Why are you collecting all these elements? I'm sorry, who are you? Aha! I knew it! I see through your disguise, fiend! And yeah, I'm not doing anything here, by the way. <laughs> uh, I can't seem to hurt you. Uh, I forgot to mow the lawn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not really uh Wow, really? <laughs> not really a boss fight or anything, just a sort of a long uh, series, long uh, cutscene, if you will. But um, yeah, I'm... If it's a callback, if it's a reference to something, I must admit I sort of fall short on knowing what that is, but um, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, let's say that. And uh, very ominous, very ominous when that... Uh, when that thing just sort of starts slithering towards you, but um, yeah, it's all incredibly harmless, nothing really to worry about, it's just uh, yeah, just a glorified cutscene. <laughs> and anyway, with that, we are going to finish off tier 8 now. Infobox 1800, tier 8 boss. And up we go! Wait, have we met before? And this is Jetman. Nope. Well, short and sweet and to the point. And if I wasn't doing such a terrible job at the start, I'd say I would, uh, I really like this boss fight. I think it's a really neat, really neat idea with the uh, looping uh, screen. So you can obviously, you've obviously got a plan ahead. Uh, you can try and attack him by shooting, you know, your shots round the screen. And they'll also come back to, to get him. So, um, yeah, I, I really like this fight. This is a... Uh, Interesting to plan out how you how you want to go about dodging him uh, and such like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, you can keep your distance from him. I mean, I think it's a pretty straightforward, easy fight um, when you're not again not sliding into him just stupidly. But um, yeah, that's a really simple, simple, and I think an easy fight and fun fight. And I like the looping again with the 360 degrees kind of round the round the pillar there. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's odd to have one quite a, what to, to my for my money quite a, an easy one kind of uh, in tier eight. I know there's not necessarily. I don't know, is there meant to be a gradation in difficulty with, with the bosses as, as we go up? But um, yeah, that one just seems just seems really easy to me. But um, a fun one nonetheless. So um, yeah, I really like that one. But uh, yeah, now we're going to have to go all the way down. And of course, whereas before, when I wanted to, when I wanted to find solid ground, I do nothing but uh, you know, find, find holes. Now that I actually want to uh, go down, I'm going to find nothing but platform, I assume. It's just going to be the way it works. But oh well. Oh well, I think we're at the end. Didn't take too long to get down. And uh, yeah, lovely. That's tier 8 done. All 11 energy elements and all 26 noble nickels. Yay! Uh, and I guess just to conclude this video then, I will go off to uh, Chateau Chavalesque. We'll get uh, the 80 uh, bolt upgrade. Oh, sorry, 80 noble nickel upgrade, whatever, whatever that was. Did I speak to you? Storm Man. No, I don't think I did. I'm always an advocate for creative original fan games. Personally, I'm excited for Mega Man Infamous Intent. Okay. Oh, future. I thought I'd take a look at Nightmare's little establishment. I must say, McWiley's might have some competition. I spoke to Shade Man, didn't I? 
yeah, we'll get, well anyway, we'll get the, uh, the reward for 80 Noble Nickels. I've got 104, is it? Yeah, so, uh, might even get another one after that. If I can get two in one, that's lovely. But I say, there were so many friggin' Noble Nickels in Tier 8 that, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. Anyway, yeah, let's see what we got. Ah, I can feel that you have at least 80 Nickels. This reward is very valuable. Take the Energy Saver. Got the new Energy Saver. Now all costs of special weapons have been halved. Talk to Reggae near Eddie's shop to disable it. Okay, so that is now actually one I could disable, but, um, well, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that on. That's a really nice one. We might as well have the, uh, low, the might as well have reduced, uh, yeah, reduced weapon, we we weapon energy when we use it. So, lovely. And yet we do indeed have another one. Ah, I can feel that you have at least a hundred nickels. Do you remember when I gave you all those costumes? I have something a bit more special now. I'll contact the shop about custom costumes. Okay, custom costume available. That's a bit disappointing. I'm not going to probably too muck around too much with that, again, as I say, during this playthrough. Um, I will buy all the costumes um, as, as, at some point, because I'm going to have to do that to 100% the game. And I guess I'll maybe have a look and see what's there. But, um, yeah, oh well. I was expecting something about something that was going to be sort of, you know, gameplay. Or, a, 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 yeah, a gameplay reward as opposed to, you know, as an aesthetic kind of reward. So let's see what we've got. I think we were up to we we're up to there before, Rock Man CX, Rocco Chan I think we had previously. Don't think we had this, so this is probably the new ones we've got. So Creon, Beck. Oh we did have some of those actually. I don't think we had Creon, but we think we had Beck and the Metal. I've lost track now anyway. Joe Man, Cut Man, question mark, me I R L. Okay, and we're round again. Okay. So um is it this thing probably, actually? That allows me to sort of do different things with skins and whatnot, but um Whenever I go into it, I mean, maybe, maybe it's not it's not Mega Man, but whenever I seem to go, in, go into that mirror with the skins thing, I just tend to, uh, nothing seems, nothing tends to happen, so. <laughs> oh, there doesn't seem anything available, so, um, yeah, I just tend to leave it. Uh, you look new, but I think we've talked to you, Springman. I heard there was a level somewhere that had some serious bouncing. Sounds like my kind of place. Yes, you would have loved it there. I might tell you about it someday. So yeah, anyway, all I'm doing here is going to go into the end, going to reward tier nine. Shouldn't take too much longer to get two. Don't think we've talked to you yet, though. Now, citizen, I always found these lamps of bright man to be a bit awkward. Maybe we did talk to you. I don't think we talked. Did we talk to our command before? Were you here before? I can't remember. I thought that the so-called best levels are in a faraway place full of rainbows. Those rainbows better have my name in them. Okay, we can't actually go in there. So, all right, fine. Still probably can't do this. Pick it, man. Hey, Mega Man, we're constructing a cool giant pit with the help of Galaxy Man, our sponsor. We're not done yet, so maybe check back later. Okay, fine. Yeah, still not done with that. I have no idea whether I talk to these people or not, so... Nah. You may not know this, but the wheel cutter can be held out in front of you by holding shoots, turning it into a contest... Constant... Melee damaging... I'll read that again. I'm missing, missing a word. Constant something melee. Turning it into a constant damage melee weapon. Right, cool. <laughs> Worker. I should be studying for a test. I have, a, I have it a few days on my break, but I'd rather just slack off. Okay, and that's Rocco Chan. That is a guy. That's a fan game I have played. I really like Rocco Chan, actually. You look a lot, look a lot like me. Are you supposed to be a male version of me or something? Probably. And here we are in tier nine with some wonderfully jolly music and a whole crap ton of noble nickels <laughs> to get as well, uh, as well as twelve energy elements. But um, I can't remember what the last level stage we've, we've done was. But I think I think that I think the final tier has ten levels in it. So I don't think there are. Um, I don't think there are more than eight, maybe, in this in this one, which is, which uh, yeah is interesting. No, nope, definitely no more than nine, but I think there might actually only be eight levels in here. Not not 100% on that, but um, yeah. Anyway, here we are in tier nine as part of the main kind of a hub area. We obviously saw it before actually as I kind of walked through it. So um, yeah, what are we doing this next time? We're approaching sort of getting toward what the ver the very top end now. We're into yeah, of the, of the last tier of levels with uh, contest entry, so um, yeah, we start to get some, I would say, truly fantastic levels in Tier 9. There are a couple here that I think are absolutely wonderful. Ones that I'd probably actually place in Tier 10, but um, obviously, um, yeah, that, that wasn't the case, but that's not that's not to detract from the quality of them as in Tier 9, yeah. Tier 9 has some wonderful levels. It actually probably also has its share of frustrating levels, and perhaps even maybe not so good levels, or levels that I don't think from a fun point of view, I would sort of, what, the, the, uh, that I would sort of, you know, have it as, as my sort of favourites or top ones, but probably more so from a design point of view. But um, yeah, I think we're going to start to be getting some really, really, truly fantastic levels, and there are definitely some of those in Tier Nine. I'm, just, I'm looking forward to playing those. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Tier Eight, Tier Eight out of the way, and I'll start tackling Tier Nine next time. Hope to see you for that. But until then, cheerio.